The more eagle-eyed of my viewers will have noticed that I've recently learned to use Photoshop. And the thumbnail of the video often shows the yacht that I'm talking about photoshopped against an image of the flag of the country that it's built in. So, for example, booty yacht builder Carbon Yachts is shown against the Swedish flag. Booty yacht builder Van der Valk is shown against a Dutch flag. And those of you that know your flags will have recognized that today's video about booty yacht builder Conrad Yachts reveals that they are located in Poland. Poland has a well-catalogued history in shipbuilding, so it should be no surprise that they are also a source of very sturdy super yachts. The Konrad Yacht Builder, in fact, is located in Gdansk, one of the most historic shipbuilding cities of Northern Europe. They first came to my attention back in 2005 when they launched a really unusual tugboat-style yacht called Jack London. This yacht was built from steel, was 15 meters long, had some very beautiful and authentic looking features, and looked like the sort of yacht that you really could buy if you were thinking of selling up everything and sailing around the world. She was followed by a sister ship called Gentleman in 2007, and for many people, these boats really did put Conrad on their radar since nobody else was producing this kind of yacht. The history of Conrad's yacht building experience goes back to 2003 though, when an American client commissioned them to build a more traditional looking yacht that today is called Escape S. This yacht was designed by a very famous and internationally acclaimed designer called Bill Dixon, and quite honestly, her lines are so timeless that she still looks as attractive and intriguing today as she did 15 years ago. For a 27 meter yacht, she has some pretty impressive characteristics, including a transatlantic range, a steel hull with aluminium superstructure, something you usually only encounter on far larger yachts, and a build quality and specification that meet MCA requirements. The fleet of yachts that Conrad have launched over the years could hardly be more diverse and include this racy looking 27 meter fast sloop called Belcara, a huge and voluminous three-masted 67-meter tall ship called La Don that was designed to cater for 80 sea cadets. And this very unusual looking 35-meter Ketch motor sailor called Lunar. This year though, Conrad will be launching what I believe to be their most significant and commercially viable yacht to date. Formerly known as the Conrad C-133, this very attractive 40-meter superyacht now has a name, Via Taurus, and a launch date set for April. Reading through her technical specifications, she appears to be extremely well equipped with CMC electric zero-speed stabilizers, a Haman sewage treatment system, and she even has an impressive range of 4,000 nautical miles at just over 10 knots. The styling of this yacht is very eye-catching and worth talking about though. Born from the talented pen of Raymond Langton Design and with naval architecture from Diana Yacht Design, Conrad themselves may not be so well known yet, but they're certainly working with some of the greatest names in the industry. The yacht's interiors look sensational too, employing a blend of various colors and materials in her guest areas, master stateroom and four guest staterooms. Going forward, Conrad have an impressive lineup of projects to offer to clients, including two more models designed by Raymond Langton. One is a very similar looking 43 meter yacht simply called C144, and the family feeling is continued in the larger version, a 47 meter yacht called the C155. Other larger yachts are also available with designs by Valicelli. It's great to see Conrad Yachts developing a range of products that I believe could be highly successful for them. I really hope that once Via Taurus is launched, that they have an agreement in place with the owner to take it to some boat shows, or at the very least to be able to show prospective clients this yacht. It's only then when you can walk on a yacht, touch and feel the quality, look at the engine room, talk to the captain and crew, that you get an idea as to whether this is a good option for you to build at. 
my feeling from the jungle drums in the industry that I hear, and also my own experience of having seen one of their yachts, albeit many years ago, is that they are indeed a very interesting builder to look out for and one to keep an eye on in the future. Let me know what you think of building a yacht in Poland in the comments section below. And I have to tell you, I'm filming this video about 10 hours after landing from a whistle stop tour to one of the world's greatest yacht building nations. Actually, statistically, the third biggest yacht building nation in the world. I'll be interested to hear from you if you know where that is. And make sure that you subscribe to my channel to not miss next week's video, where I'll be telling you exactly what it was that I was doing there.